In this video, I will try to create subassembly for inline 4 engine assembly in FreeCAD 1.1.0, but in fact the operations is same as in FreeCAD 1.0. However, version 1.1.0 has the simulation function that I can do the animation. Beside this, the subassembly process is the same. If you want to try the FreeCAD 1.1.0, you can go to the FreeCAD download page, go to weekly build, download the file for Windows. Extract the files and run the FreeCAD application in the bin directory. Let me go right into the demonstration now. Besides, in the video description below, I will put a link to download these example files if you want to try. In this example, I have stored all the parts in the part folder. Parts are piston. Piston pin. Top part of the connecting rod. Bottom part of the connecting rod. And the crankshaft. In the sketch, there are four vertical lines and they are 98 millimeters apart. The length is not critical but needs to be long enough to pass through the piston that I can select the line. These lines guide the motion of the pistons. In the assembly workbench, create the assembly. Insert component. Because I put all the parts in the part folder, I don't need to open files from other directory. All the parts are available within this file. Insert the sketch line. Click yes to ground the item. Show the sketch. Insert component. Insert crankshaft. Click Revolute Joint icon. From the window, we can select different type of joints. So select Revolute Joint. Select the circular edge of the crankshaft. Move the crankshaft to the right and select the horizontal line. Adjust offset to 22 mm so the vertical line is at the middle of the crank pin journal. Other three lines are also at the middle of the crank pin journals. The color of the shaft is not right. So, close the file and reopen it. Now I want to create a subassembly for the connecting rod. There are different approaches to establish the subassembly. I can create a new file and make an assembly. Then, from the main assembly, I can insert another assembly as subassembly. The test assembly is available in the insert component window. Cancel it for now. If I want to keep everything in the same file, I can create the subassembly within the file. So, close the external assembly file. While the assembly is active, create a new assembly. The assembly now is created under the original assembly. Rename it as SubCR for the connecting rod subassembly.
Hide the crankshaft and the sketch. Activate the subassembly by double click it. Insert component. Insert CR, the top part, and click yes to ground it. Then the bottom part and the pin, click OK. Select slider joint. Select the line at bottom part and the top part. Rotate it by 180 degrees. Click OK. Select slider joint again. Select the line at bottom part and the top part. Click OK. The bottom part is fixed to the top part. Select the fixed joint, select the round surface of the pin and the round surface of the connecting rod, click OK to create the joint. Switch to fastener workbench to insert screws. Add screws to the file first. Then add nuts to the file too. Now screws and nuts are not inside the assembly. So they won't be included when I insert them in the main assembly. So, move them into the subassembly. Move and separate screws and nuts. Switch to assembly workbench. Select fixed joint. Select the hole and circular edge of the screw. Click OK to complete the joint. Same for other screw. Click Fix Joint. Select the hole at the bottom and circular edge of the nut. Click OK to finish the joint. Same for other nut. Select both screws and change the length to 32 mm. Insert component. Insert the piston. Move and rotate the piston. Click revolute joint. Select the circular edge of the piston and the circular edge of the pin. The piston assembly is completed. I need to insert the subassembly now. Activate the main assembly. Insert component but the subassembly is not available for selection. Click Cancel. Move the subassembly to the part folder. Hide the subassembly. 
show the crankshaft and the line sketch. Insert component. Now the subassembly is available. There is a rigid subassembly option. Uncheck it for now. Then insert the subassembly. You can see joints created before are not valid anymore. It is not I want. This subassembly does not preserve joints created and is not very useful if I want to do animation. So, cancel it for now. Delete the subassembly imported. Sometimes, I need to try few times to delete it. Insert it again. Check the rigid subassembly option before inserting the assembly. The subassembly looks good. Insert the subassembly three more times. Rotate and move them. Click Revolute Joint. Select the circular edge of the connecting rod and the circular edge of the crankpin journal, it is same as selecting the round surface. Click OK to complete the joint. Repeat the process for other three connecting rods. Move the piston assemblies to upright position so it is easier to select the top part of the piston. As the subassembly is inserted as rigid subassembly, the piston is fixed to the connecting rod and cannot rotate. To change it, go to subassembly and scroll down to general. Change the field rigid to false. Update all four subassemblies.
it is hard to rotate the piston as the connecting rod is not fixed. Anyway, let me apply a slider joint and you will see the change. Click slider joint, select the vertical line and the circular edge of the piston. The piston moves and matches the vertical line. That means the revolute joint between the pin and the piston is working. Click OK to finish the joint. Repeat the process for other three subassemblies. Create Simulation If you are not familiar with Create Simulation function, you can watch my video for Create Simulation in FreeCAD 1.1.0. The video link is included in the description below or you can go to my channel to watch the video. Click plus sign to select the joint. The first revolute joint is to rotate the crankshaft, so select it for the animation. Change formula to 0.6283 times time. Change end to 10 and step to 0.05. Click the Generate button. Frame is 201 which is good. 10 divided by 0 0.05 is 200. As it starts with frame 1, so the last one is 201. Sometimes, the number may be smaller and it indicates problem and the generation process is not complete. Maybe joints are not properly aligned or some other problems. Then I need to review the joints and fix them before doing the simulation again. Anyway, this one is good. Frames per second is the speed. I increase it to 60 to run it faster. Press the play button to run the animation. The animation looks good and the rotation is smooth and not slow. Hide the line sketch. Scroll down and expand the simulation. All the parameters remain the same. Generate the simulation. Play it again. It is how the flexible subassembly can be created. If you find this video interesting and informative, please subscribe and give it a like. Thank you for watching.